Welcome to the Cozy Midnight website and thanks for viewing this tutorial. My name is Drew Chaplin and I'm building a Cozy Mark IV experimental airplane. I'd like to demonstrate the router and template method of trimming bulkheads to shape. Router and templates have been around for years in fine woodworking shops around the world. This technique offers precise repeatable cuts which eliminates the variable of hand cuts and the errors it can induce. We'll need a few tools before we can begin. This is a solid carbide downward spiral bit, which means as the bit spins, it pushes the shavings out the bottom of the workpiece. This is used in conjunction with a brass bushing. This bushing mounts inside the router base and has a lip that protrudes out the bottom that will ride around the template. This leaves an excess material on the workpiece, and which makes this the rough cut bit. The second bit you'll need is a carbide tip flush trim bit with a top bearing. This piece right here is a bearing mounted on the top end. This will ride around the template and as this spins this will trim exactly the same size as the template. So this is your final piece. So consider this as your finishing bit and consider this as your rough cut bit. Next, you'll need a template of one half of your bulkhead. I made my templates out of one quarter inch MDF simply because it was the cheapest wood available. I like working with the MDF because it cuts and sands easily, has a nice fine finish, and is commonly available. Luon plywood is also another popular template material. Spending time cutting and sanding and creating the final shape of this is where you determine the quality of the final shape of your bulkhead. It took me about five hours to lay out, cut, and sand these bulkheads to the final shape and cost me about twenty dollars. The process was quite easy and unrushed. This is begin by making your foam base structure much larger than needed. And if you look through the final fiberglass you will see the foam shape for this instrument panel is much larger and really unshaped at all. You can see where I've added three foam pieces in to, to save and conserve foam, but as far as cutting the actual shape of the top of the bulkhead and cutting the leg holes and the spots around the bottom, I left those in all together. I then fiberglass both sides oversized, cut it to shape with a phenon or actually my Dritz scissors down to a rough shape while it was still in the epoxy stage. You can see this is a very rough shape, but it's going to come down to that final shape very quickly now. You just saw me create the right side by setting the template on there and taking a pencil and outlining that. I then flip the template over and will now do the left. I need to align it though. I would do that through a couple different measures. One, I would use the center line drawn on the part, align that with the center line on the template, and align it here. I've also marked the center line on the template itself and I can use those lines to help center the part. For the vertical alignment, I will use these extensions on the templates and align that with my previously drawn pencil line. As a last minute safety measure, I will use a straight edge held up snugly against my template and see how that comes out with my previously drawn pencil line. This will ensure that the bottom line or the edge that you want straight is straight across the entire piece and not just one side with a slight angle there at the middle. Now we need to attach the template temporarily to the fiberglass surface. We will do this by using inexpensive roll 3M foam tape. And I'm only going to cut this off in one inch sections and attach this around the part. So now it's simply a matter of going back to those, sony, those same lines we had before. Now it's time to talk shop safety. Be sure to read, understand, and follow the safety instructions included with your tools. And remember, there's no more important safety tip than to wear these. Safety glasses. 
be sure to make Norm Abrams proud. But if you gotta do it, at least be cool. We're gonna start out with our solid carbide tip bit. Insert that into our router. With the router in unplugged, remember, keep Norm Abrams happy. Here's the MDF base attached through the original screw holes of this Harbor Freight base. Inside here is the brass bushing adapter squeezed in there and held in from behind. So that's in there and I leave that on there all the time. What I put in and take out is my brass bushing. This brass bushing is an 11 32nd ID and a 7 16 OD used with a 1 quarter inch bit. So it leaves a little bit of material. That drops in from this side. From the other side, I'm going to insert the brass ring and tighten this up. Goes in quite quickly. This will be taken on, on and off quite regularly. Now I can reassemble the router. And as you can see, that comes nicely out the top. And as that bit spins, it has got clearance all the way around. Now we need to set our router depth. I'm going to set the router on the piece. By loosening the router base, you can adjust this as high or as low as you want. You really only need this out a little bit. The rough cut bit leaves just shy of 1 8 inch worth of material more than is needed. I would then change the bit over to the final finishing bit by removing the bushing and changing over to the flush trim bit. I will then reassemble the unit, raising the bit so the bearing just protrudes past the base so it only rides on the temple. One more quick trip around the piece with the flush trim bit and we have a nice clean edge. I flip the template over, make sure alignment is perfect, stuck it down with the foam tape. Now I just need to go through the whole process over again. I have switched back to the solid carbide bit with the bushing in my router. I'm ready to go with the rough cut. Final piece, perfectly shaped. All the corners are very nice and square. You get to decide whether it's worth the mess, the hassle to give you a nice part. Now granted, not every part admittedly needs this type of care, but there's sometimes an instrument panel where you want some nice rounded corners, nice and square, cleanly cut. It's a great solution. You can decide whether it's worth the mess and the dust.